Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing tutorials every week here on my channel, Whitney Sews. Today I thought it'd be fun to show all of the DIY projects that we use daily here in our house because I get a lot of questions sometimes about um, what I do with all the projects that I make and show tutorials for and the answer is we use a lot of them. A few things I do give away or sell but the majority we really do use around our house and so I wanted to go over some of those DIYs with you all of what we use every single day and if you like this kind of video let me know because I can do another one about the DIYs that we use on a more weekly basis because there's some things that we use but we don't use every single day so let me know if you want another video like that and also if you're not subscribed already make sure you do so by clicking that red subscription button down below so you don't miss out on my future tutorials so these projects are in no particular order, but they all are together in a playlist that you can find linked in the description box down below. So if I mention a tutorial that you are interested in, check out that playlist and you will find it there. So first up are the 5-minute zipper bags and the lined version of the 5-minute zipper bag. We have several of these that we use around our house. We keep crayons in them. We also keep some homeschool supplies in them. They are so handy. The kids love them because they are really easy to open and close and they just throw their crayons in and then they're ready to go. So super quick, super easy to make and use and my kids really love them. Another thing that the kids love is the t-shirt quilt that I did a tutorial on very recently. Peyton has claimed it. She has decided that that is hers and she needs it every night on her bed to go to sleep. So I made it for Jeremiah using his shirts, but Peyton thinks she owns it and who's going to tell a three-year-old otherwise so the t-shirt quilt definitely gets used every day next up are denim rag quilts we actually have three of them um, one of them my mom made when I was a senior in high school and then two of them I made and we use two of them every single day on our couches to protect our couches from messy toddlers and dogs and just help keep them clean because it's a lot easier to clean a quilt than it is to clean a couch. And then the third rag quilt that we have, um, we just use it if we're going anywhere that we need to sit on the ground for. We take it along with us and it is super huge. It's like the size of a twin bed. And so we just use that for a blanket for picnics and everything else. And speaking of dogs on our couch, um, we have two dachshunds and they love being snuggly and cozy. And so we have the um, puppy sleeper bag and we have the dog bed that I made and they use both of those on the couch along with some blankets um, and the dogs just really love them. The next item is the unpaper towels that I made out of flannel. Um, we use them all the time because like I said we have two toddlers we have a three-year-old and then an almost two-year-old and they have sticky hands a lot that's just the life with little kids they have sticky hands and so we use the end paper towels we get them wet and um, use them to wipe the kids hands off if they're just kind of in between things and we don't want to take them to the bathroom and actually like wash their hands if we just need a quick clean of their hands or face we just get the um, fabric towels wet and just clean them up with that. Tyler also loves the end paper towels because she uses them to pretend to clean the table. It's so cute. Skylar also uses her drooly bibs all the time. Um, she drools so much more than Peyton ever did and so I like to put the bibs on her because it just keeps her shirt dry because if her shirt gets wet then she's uncomfortable and everything but if um, she drools on the bib it is not touching her skin and so it's a lot more comfortable and then if that gets too wet I can just swap it out for a different bib and it just works so much better. Another thing that Skylar uses every day is the DIY cloth diaper inserts. Peyton is mostly potty trained but Skylar is still fully in diapers and so we cloth diaper when we're at home and the DIY inserts have worked out really really well for her. The next one may not seem like an item that most people would use all the time, but I use it almost every day, and that is my rice bags. Um, during the winter, I use every single day because in our house, the room that is me and Jeremiah's bedroom, it is not um, as circulated as the rest of the house, so it stays cold. So I use the rice bag um, before I go to sleep, just like to stay warm. And... Um, 
it is so handy for that. And then the rest of the year, anytime that my bad knee starts bothering me or my shoulder, I heat the bag up and put it on there and it helps relieve my muscles. The last thing on my list also pertains to our bedroom and that is the DIY pillowcases that I show how to make. They are the three seam pillowcases and I absolutely love them. They still are super great even though we've washed them so many times like not a single seam is starting to come open um they are just really awesome i have two on my pillows and then jeremiah has one as well and they're just a fun cute addition to our bedding because the rest of our bedding is pretty look pretty plain and um I made the pillowcases out of really fun bright fabrics so i really like seeing them on our bed so those are all the DIYs that I could think of that we use every single day. I'm sure there are others that I just forgot to put on my list. Of course, there are some DIYs that you see in every single video that I do. This one is my Charming Rainbows quilt that I have a tutorial on. Right here is my fabric bunting. Um, this is a smaller size than what the pattern is that is on my website. Um, I scaled it down for this one just because I wanted the smaller cute size in the background. This right here is my button flower art that I have a video on. Um, I have a video on this decoupaged frame. And let's see. Okay, right here is um, some button letter art. I don't think I did a tutorial on this specifically, but I did a... Um, a different button art video that I can link to and then I have painting over there that I have a video on and then let's see if I can show uh, yeah okay um up there is the t-shirt wall art and then the pinwheel and my quilted zipper bag so I will link to all of those yeah okay so those are all the DIYs that I have to talk about today like I said they are all listed down below in a playlist and I also link to that playlist right over here to the side for your convenience and um, yeah let me know if you want that other video about the DIYs we use weekly and until next time happy sewing <laughs>